May I be the first to wish you a very Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Hot Mess Mama. It is Christmas Day. It is 1.36 Eastern Time on December the 25th. And Jesus Christ is born. Woohoo! Go Jesus! Yay! So I see that I have someone that's logged on. I can't imagine who that might be. Maybe a fellow Catholic who just came back from Midnight Mass like I did. Looking a little ragged. Thank goodness the lights were a little low in the church. <laughs> But, um, oh, hey, Heather, Merry Christmas. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you're probably sneaking around um, hiding presents or something, right? Oh, Rebecca, you're here too. Oh, my gosh. I should start doing these Facebook Lives at 1 o'clock in the morning every week because apparently this is when all of my followers are logged on and watching. So very, very sweet thing that just happened to me, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I totally have to put this on Facebook Live because it was probably the most sweet thing that's happened to me um, today, Christmas. Well, it's still early, but, um, you know, we get to that age as moms, like, you know, it's not about us getting presents anymore. Cause like, let's face it, we've been married to our husbands forever and they, we don't exchange gifts anymore. And it's not about us. It's about the kids. And so it's all about wrapping presents for the kids. And like, I don't know about you guys. I don't even buy a present for my husband anymore. I don't, he doesn't even buy, we don't even ask what each other wants anymore. And our, you know, our kids don't get his presents. They're too young. So it's all about the kids. And, you know, and for me, it's, it, it, it's all also about, you know, Jesus and his birth. But, um, you know, we all reflect back on um, our Christmases when we were children and some of the things that maybe our family has done or that we done together or our parents did for us on our first Christmases as children and those sweet, sweet memories that we made. And um, at this time last year, my dad was dying and my dad died on like the 29th. So um, this last year was our last Christmas with him. And, you know, I've been thinking about him a lot because this is kind of coming up on that anniversary of my dad passing. And so, um, you know, I haven't really said anything to anybody because I still just feel my dad in my heart. And I know that like, you know, this is a really sweet time kind of remembering that, that passing um, of him going up to the pearly gates. And um, so I come home from church tonight after midnight mass. And I like literally go, I don't know, I randomly was taking pictures of my house inside and I look and there's something taped to my front door. And I'm like, what is that? That wasn't here when I left an hour ago for church, from church. And it's this like, you know, great value, big like Ziploc bag, right? Hey, Hillary, Merry Christmas. And in this Ziploc bag is this envelope. And it says, I don't know if you can read it. It says Merry Christmas Susan on it. And uh, it's all it's typed so like I, it's not like I can recognize anybody's handwriting just it's Merry Christmas Susan on it and it's taped and it's taped to my door right and so I'm like huh I, maybe I might know who this might be but I'm not sure I thought, oh it's just one of my friends that was like dropping off a Christmas card or something like that right so then I go to open up the card and I want to show you this card and I'm going to read it to you and hopefully I won't start crying so um how do I do that so it starts like this it says for an amazing daughter there is simply no one else with your style, spirit, or smile. And I'm like, huh, this is interesting. And it says, who loves what you do, laughs how you laugh, and lights up everything the way you do. And the turn page and says, hope you know how very special you are. Merry Christmas, Susan, with my love. Hugs, kisses, affections, blessings, and prayers from where I am at, Dad. The first Christmas after a void can be difficult, but read Psalm 34, 7. And I, wow, I was like blown away. I was like, wait a minute, there's gotta be someone saying something here, right? Like, was this like a friend of mine just, you know, acknowledging that, you know, this might be a hard time for me or something? And so I'm like, like looking, looking for clues and I have no idea who sent this sweet, sweet, sweet gesture. I think I might know who it is. I have another friend that's, um, you know, very spiritual, very faithful. And I think that that might, might have actually been from him, but I, and I, I, but I have no idea who it came from. And I just, it was just such a blessing to think that like my dad could be up in heaven thinking that right now. And, you know, I do know, like I have some other friends that have had, you know, parents pass within this last year or so. And this Christmas might be difficult on all of us. So I hope that you have an angel in disguise that brings you some blessed 
you know, blessing like this and that you'll feel your loved one today, um, whether that be in a song that was a favorite of theirs or a dish that you cooked that was something that they really loved um, or a flower that you see or an old Christmas card that you find that they signed or maybe an old voicemail that you have from them. Um, I hope that you have that because it is really, you know, it is, it's, it's a beautiful thing to kind of remember them and all the beauty and joy and magic that they brought to our Christmases, right? Right. So I hope that too, that when our kids look back on their Christmases and they look back at the 25 crazy elf on the shelves and all of the crazy wrapping of the presents and the traditions of the cookies and the Santa Clauses and the Christmas lights and that they all have very fond memories like we do, right? Because that's what it's all about is, is, is making this a joyous season for, for, for the children um, and celebrating Jesus' birth. So happy birthday. Go Jesus. And I'm so glad that you guys joined me tonight. I was not expecting anyone to be on and I hope that you guys aren't up because you're like frantically wrapping presents or you know, doing mommy, Santa, Christmas stuff last minute. Hey, Jim. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, and I think it's probably, now that Jim just logged on, it probably is a good time for me to say thank you for your service. Uh, so let's thank all of our military friends and our police and law enforcement people um, for, you know, keeping us safe um, and happy and healthy. And um, Merry Christmas to you. I will tell you, I was kind of freaked out. I was at church today at my midnight mass. There was like armed policemen in the back of the church, like standing at the doors. And I didn't think anything of it. And then halfway through the mass, I thought, oh my gosh, like there are some churches here, especially in the United States who, who could be under threat of attack. You know, these people are just going to celebrate Christmas and some person, some radical could be coming in and, and, and attempting to try to hurt them in the name of their God or whatever. And I thought, oh gosh, that's gotta be so terrifying. And it didn't, it didn't, didn't dawn on me until I saw these people, you know, these police officers standing in the doorway. And that, that was a really nice sacrifice that they were there to try to help us make us feel safe. I wasn't even, I didn't even, it didn't even dawn on me to not feel safe. And so I'm just glad that they were there and, and, and servicing our country and making us all feel safe and keeping us in good company. And so again, Jim, thank you for your service. Hillary, Merry Christmas. I love you and I miss you. Rebecca, um, beer. I was wanting a beer at about nine o'clock this morning. So I loved your picture. Thank you for posting that. Heather, I'm still waiting for your selfie. I'm still waiting for your hot mess mama selfie. So you got, I'm going to give you, a, I'm, I'm giving you a reprieve because it's Christmas because we have a few other things that we need to do today. But um, thank you guys for joining. I love you very much. Merry Christmas to you and your families. Big fat blessings and go Jesus. Talk to you soon.